Nah. What's up, sexies? Happy Friday Eve. Man, uh, love a couple things here and there and whatnot, but uh, I was talking with a king earlier, and it got violence into my head, and for some reason I can't get it out. This is a video that I didn't plan on talking about for a while, but, you know, since it's on my mind, I might as well go ahead and clear my head now, or I ain't going to be able to get back to what I want to. So, you know, violence. It's from the beginning, since the beginning, the way that we've constituted our rights, the way that we've overtaken countries, perceived ourselves to come about to be some of the greatest things in the world. However, in the act of violence is the destruction of the process, is the destruction of creation. And, you know, it's taking a toll not only on people, but civilizations entirely, races, so many other things that violence contributes to. And, you know, as I say, we have these media outlets and the government. And as I've described before, what government stands for to govern means to control. And mint stands for the mind. So the definition of government is to control the mind as they would perceive us. They inform us on what they want us to know round and abouts here and there throughout the world so instead of uniting as one we're all against each other as we know it today they call it uh black lives matter you know i'm proud to be black said the black man and the yellow man i'm proud to be yellow said the asian man being brown proud to be mexican being validas but as the white man said i'm proud to be white he was called racist. This is cultural conditioning at its finest because the opinion of one seems to weigh for everyone. That's the hardest part about violence is that they believe that by telling us what they want us to that we will turn against each other and for the foreseeable history we have. Everyone states, you know, this is a great country as we talked about earlier so many things that this country did to keep itself. However, Columbus didn't discover America. We invaded America. And we raped the land of its people, of its resources, of its natural beauty, for civilization, for social engineering, for <laughs> cultural conditioning to start anew, to proclaim a new land for people who would decide to be free. Yet, as the rest of the world, we've maintained that level of violence. We maintain everything that is bad. And with that, you know, comes some different understandings, some different viewpoints on things and situations. And when I talk about change of perspectives, you know, it's kind of at that point what perspective I would perceive for you today is talk about protest. You know, they they don't protest you so that you like them. They don't protest you to get you to follow what it is that they believe as much as they stand up for something that they're believing in. The fact of the matter is it's all about the perception. You know, like I said, they're not setting out in protest, blocking the highways, blocking services, be it whatever the case may be. They're maintaining you as we continue to maintain ourselves with the cultural conditioning. They leave us stuck in situations at times, blocking the entrance to work or the highway as it would be. You know, do you remain calm and peaceful? Do you seek to politicize anything to make the talks to make the conversations to change what maybe it is or do you seek violence you want to run them over with your car you want to go out and shoot protesters you want to get them out of the way because they're keeping you from doing what it is that you believe yet yet imagine if you looked at it in their perspective or in 
any kind of different perspective for that matter. You know, what would you say to a system that patrols and harasses you, that destroys you and your mind as the conditioning would be? You know, it's written in our history books that Columbus discovered America. Columbus invaded America. Let's get it right. Let's put it out there as to what it is before we go thinking that we're better than anybody else. And, you know, the sooner that you learn that things are all about perspective, the more you can begin to believe. Violence, you know, never brings permanent peace by any means. It resolves no social problems, no social conditioning. It doesn't change our way of life. It doesn't change our understanding about the difference in race and in culture. It doesn't make us human, if you would. It makes us violent. It makes us evil. Because, you know, like I said, it's not the permanent of peace that results from violence. It merely creates new and more complicated chaos, if you would. You know, it's violence is only impractical. It's the descending, spiraling ending. It's the destruction of all. Destruction of all as we know it and we want to believe it. And, you know, like I said, is it being immoral? It seeks to humiliate or even annihilate a race or an opponent and maybe even convert some to believing one way or another when we were given that freedom at our birthright to believe whatever it is that we wanted to go about this journey as any way we seen fit. And, you know, like I said, violence thrives on hatred. It breeds social conditioning. And, you know, love would truly be the only way to destroy it. But as we don't even know how to love ourselves anymore, we can't choose to love the world as it has become. And, you know, it is what it is. With this continued conditioning, with the continued violence, with the continued strain against human misery, you know, it continues to destroy the community because it turns us all against each other. The black versus the white, you know, the Mexican versus the black, and then it becomes a drug war, and there's all kinds of other stuff. And white people involved to the farthest extent don't think that anyone is better than anyone for any reason. But, you know, this is what continually destroys the community. This is what continually makes brotherhood impossible between colors, between races, between cultures, between anything. And, you know, we have... We have become driven by monologue rather than by dialogue. You know, like I said, violence creates bitterness amongst survivors. And, you know, until we change our perspective, until we find our light, until we seek our own salvation to change, to not be like they want us to be, to find the peace within us, to give it to everyone else, that's how it shall be. And I think in back in the social movements, you know, I think probably Ella Baker said it best. When she said, give people light and they will find their way. Give people an understanding, a conditioning, and they'll believe anything you want them to. But give them their own light to find their own path and they shall prevail. I love you guys. Stay up and stay beautiful. And as always, I'll see you around. Violence solves nothing. Only through the talks. Be it through human talks, not political Political is the one that governs us, that keeps control of us. Only through the humans, through the interaction, through the social networks, will we ever establish a peace between all of us amongst the world, between the colors, between the races, between societies, civilizations, continents, and everything in between. Again, y'all stay up and stay beautiful. I love coming out here. I'll see y'all around.